Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna run a heavy workload test between the Pixel 7a and the Pixel 6a to see how much better is the newer model in terms of performance. Maybe they are not flagships but they use the same tensor chipsets found in the Pixel 6 Pro and the 7 Pro. So I have two questions to answer. Are they going to deliver a near flagship performance and how much better is the 7a when compared to the 6a? To find out, I will run a test that includes four heavy tasks for each phone to run at the same time. The phone that will keep things running for longer will win the competition. So let's jump into it, but before starting, let me put the rules first. Both will be on cellular data instead of Wi-Fi to make things harder. Smooth display on the 7a is deactivated to match the 6a refresh rate. Both are running the latest stable software versions available at the time of filming this video. And finally, the screen brightness is calibrated using my light meter to be slightly less than 400 lux. Now let's start the test. You will see a thermometer to show you the room temperature, a secondary phone which is needed in one of the tasks, both phones are at 100% battery, and there are no apps running in the background. Task number one is to start a Teams meeting and run the screen sharing, and you will see this running on the secondary phone. Task number two is to start a 2160p video on YouTube in picture in picture view. Task number three is to navigate to Dubai Mall in Google Maps and finally play Asphalt 9. Before starting the stopwatch, let me show you that no graphics settings to adjust inside the game and both are set to 60Hz refresh rate. Now let's begin and see which one will stay for longer. Right off the bat you will notice that only the test preparation was enough to make both phones decide to noticeably dim the display and they didn't have a good start either. The screen sharing on the 7a was stuck while all other tasks were running just fine. The 6a started with a network issue in Asphalt 9 but also all other tasks were running. I tried to make the screen sharing work on the 7a. I thought at first it's an issue with the secondary phone but it only started to work after swiping away from the app and opening it again on the 7a. And I waited for the 6a to restore the internet connection in Asphalt 9. And after about 2 minutes of issues, both started to work normally. So they are far more inferior when compared to their flagships even though they have the same chipset. I think the smaller body of the 6a and the 7a didn't help them to release the heat, plus the RAM is less. Now let's continue and see what's gonna happen. After 5 minutes and 41 seconds, the 6a display was dimmer than the 7a. Also, the 7a was faster in the race loading time by 1.5 seconds and its screen sharing was smoother. Exactly at the 8 minutes and the 22 seconds mark, the 6a started to lag like crazy, while the 7a was still handling the situation and the game was playable. Just 6 seconds after, and the 6a dropped the data connection completely, and everything like YouTube and the Microsoft Teams stopped working. I waited for 20 seconds more, hoping that it would restore the data connection, but it didn't happen. And the outside temperature maxed out at 45.6 degrees. I also waited for the 6A to finish the race and nothing changed. So I quitted the game and the battery was at 95%. So far the 7A is still fine so let's fast forward to see how far it can go. Exactly after 11 minutes and 9 seconds it gave me a thermal warning and the data connection dropped same as the 6A and the temperature maxed out at 49 degrees. I also waited for the race to finish, then quitted the game, and the battery percentage was at 96%. So as expected, the 7a won the test and stayed for 2 minutes and 41 seconds longer than the 6a, with 1% less battery consumption. If we're gonna convert this to a percentage, the 7a has about 30% better performance than the 6a, which is a big jump. But when you look at the performance as a whole, you will find that Tensor G2 is not on the same level of the Snapdragon chipsets, but at least we see it improving year over year. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my heavy workload test between last year's Pixel 6a and the latest budget phone from Google, the 7a. So please let me know in the comments what do you think, but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.